The second part of chapter 15 is the effect of change in exchange rate. So obviously, because you invest in international market too, the exchange rate risk are exposed. So the realized dollar return for the US resident investing in foreign market will depend on two things. One, the, on the returns in the foreign market, but number two, also one on the change in the exchange rate between the dollars and the foreign currencies. So there's a simple formula we can remember. So the return for the dollar, US resident investing in dollar equals to one plus, this is the local currency returns, times one plus the rate of exchange, the change in exchange rate between local currency and the dollars minus one. So eventually this becomes the, the, the RI plus EI plus RI times EI. So if you plug this one into the formula from the example, if a US resident just sold shares in a British firm that has had a 15% return in pounds during the periods when the pound depreciate 5%, this dollar return is 9.25 because now again, one plus 15% return, now it's one, now minus because the pounds depreciate, so you lose money. Minus 5%, minus one equal to 9.25. So it's lower than 15 because of the depreciation in the pounds. Or you can say the RI plus EI pl plus RI times EI, then you have exactly the same 9.25% returns. What about the, the variance, the risk? So the risk for a US resident investing in foreign market will depend not only on the risk of foreign market also, but also on the risk of exchange rate between the US dollars and the foreign currencies, right? So the variance of these, the, the, the variance of the US resident equals to the variance of the return in domestic currency, I mean, not domestic, foreign currency, I'm sorry. Plus the variance of the exchange uh, rate changes plus two times the covariance of the RI and EI plus delta VAR, delta very far. This term represents the contribution of the cross product terms. RI times EI to the risk of foreign investment. Okay. So, I mean, this mathematically, this is a little bit uh, complicated. So I'm not gonna ask you to solve this question in mathematics, but at least you have to know that, uh, well, this equation demonstrates that the exchange rate fluctuation contribute to the risk of foreign investment. Through these three channels, first, it's on volatility, second, the covariance with the local market returns, and the third is the contribution of the cross product term. So, you, so basically the exchange rate fluctuation itself actually uh, changed also the change the also change the, the variance of the return in the U, for the US residents. Okay. So that's the uh, effect of the change in exchange uh, rate. 